Jambo fellow adventurers, it's Mike Dooley. Good morning. Time for another spiritual tune-up, something I've been doing every day for a couple of weeks now on the different social media platforms and will continue to do. And today's spiritual tune-up is about selfishness, being divinely selfish. Now, I know the connotations of that are just ick and yuck because of the way we have viewed selfishness heretofore. But what I want to do is give you a leg up on understanding that the reason God wanted to be you is so that you would be you, as you have heard me say before. Now, selfishness, as it was understood by old schoolers, typically means I want mine at the expense of someone else's. Old schoolers interpret reality with their physical senses alone. So if you get a few extra coconuts on the island, that means somebody has a few less coconuts on the island. Old schoolers see the world as finite and limited, and therefore anyone's gain is someone else's loss. And hence, if that were the case, selfishness would be disgusting and awful and yucky, icky poo. But we have the ability to see life with our spiritual lens, with an understanding that it's all illusory, that we are the creators of our own fortunes, destinies, and misfortunes. And when you truly understand selfishness, you really get <clears throat> in a heartbeat that if it meant you progress at the expense of others, and sometimes including loved ones, are you really getting ahead? Are you really doing yourself a service? If your success comes at the neglect of your children, the neglect of your partner, and the neglect of other high priority issues, neighbors, social life, it would blow up in your face. That's not selfishness with a spiritual perspective. That's spiritual stupidity, excuse the harsh language. Thinking that you will gain at other people's expense is just a non-starter. But with spiritual lenses, you understand not only will your success embolden others, will your wealth and abundance improve the lot of others, but you would do so, and this is the triple underlying part, you would do so automatically considering the needs and desires, fears and otherwise of loved ones, of your immediate circle, of your not so immediate circle, of your neighbors, of your friends. You would never plow ahead at the expense of anybody. You would be so creative that you would figure out a way to balance your life so that you could follow your heart in such a way that your success, your breakthrough, your tipping point, your improved relationships, your improved health, your improved finances would help the world. We do not live in a limited world. We do not need to be living off of our physical senses alone. Follow your heart. Do what you most want to do. The world is your oyster. It's spinning in the palm of your hand. There is nothing that you might want to achieve that you shouldn't be pursuing in a balanced way. And that does not mean put the needs of others before your own. No, that was also a misinterpretation of scripture. I mean, maybe it's literal scripture today, but it was mistranslated in the past. Your needs count. Your heart counts. Your inclinations, your strengths count more than anything else. Consider the other stuff. Balance your time. Consider your children or aged parents you might be looking after. There may be a spell, a long spell in your life where you need to take care of business at home to create that foundation so that one day you can soar as you were destined and designed to do. You can have it all. And by you having it all, you'll help other people have it all. And think not that materiality is unspiritual. Everything is spiritual, as the universe once said. Material stuff, maybe even more so. Because you thought about it enough that you brought God into your life in the form of physical things. You've brought it to bear. Everything is spiritual. Love your life. Follow your heart. Live balanced. And you will be astounded. 
tally-ho and every good wish check-in every morning now, seven days a week, I'm doing these short little broadcasts. Uh, and if you aren't already getting notes from the universe, tut.com. See you there. Tally-ho. Where's my mouse? Click.